we're in downtown Memphis outside of City Hall and police headquarters. Now, one of the big developments today is the disbanding of the Scorpion unit, but there's also some other demands. We're releasing the names of everyone involved, every uh, officer, every EMT, every firefighter, all their names need to be released, not just the five black officers that got charged. <laughs> Alongside this trumpet player in tribute to Tyree Nichols Saturday, hundreds of demonstrators united in downtown Memphis and demanded fundamental systemic change within the Memphis Police Department. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. The crowd of demonstrators again made their voices heard one day after the city of Memphis released video showing five now former Memphis police officers beating 29-year-old Tyree Nichols. They marched from MPD headquarters and down Poplar Avenue with a message. Their cries for justice are just beginning. To protest for our rights and to get justice for our rights. To hear our voice and for things to change. Another demonstrator saying that change goes beyond laws and protocol. The broader issue is police culture. I know this is not indicative of the whole police force. The police are the first front line. And if, and if the police can't embrace that, attitude of, of oneness and community, not just for black people, but for everyone. So we're going to keep a strategic plan until we win the final victory. For this group, that final victory requires several things. The Data Transparency Act passed within the City Council and the County Commission. We need the end to pretextual traffic stops by law enforcement entirely. And we need an end to these task force, the MGU and the OCU. They can, they can disband the Scorpion unit, they can disband those other two too. Whether it's through music or passionate chants, this group promised these sounds and a cry for justice won't go away and won't go unheard. In downtown Memphis, I'm Jay Shakur.